Uh, Simon, ultimately it was a game too far for us, but you must have been proud of the lads' effort tonight. Yeah, I think that's been there to see all season. Um, they tried until the 80th minute. They just we had a bit to deal with. Um, obviously, you can probably see from team selection that having a, another half and a winger on the bench is not really something we normally go for. But you know, that, that's the hand we dealt. This time of year, everyone's a bit busted. Um, we picked the 17 that we thought would be the best in terms of anticipating what might happen in the game, and some of it did. Obviously, losing Greg early on that that meant for a shuffle. I, I think. Uh, end up hurting us. Um, 42 to 8, was it? 42 to 8 in the end. Yeah, disappointed in the margin. I thought, I don't think they're that much better than us, to be honest. I think we just, we didn't handle the first half well. But the second half, offensively, we played how we planned to play. The first half, we just didn't get it. Um, Rooksby got away from us a little bit. And again, I'm not taking anything away. We deserve to lose, they deserve to win. I thought they scored, a f there was a few tries in there where were a bit bizarre, weren't they? Off, off kicks and, and ricochets and so on. So, yeah, I think in the end you get what you deserve, and we deserve third place. Um, when you look on the year as a whole, being best of the rest, if you like, when Fevan to lose, uh, you know, as much as none of us like to admit it, but they have been head and shoulders, haven't they? So, it makes for a good sign, a good final next week. Um, but yeah, I think we can hold our heads high, and it really gives us something to to build on. Really, third is is a benchmark for us, and you know. Everyone wants to make progress every year, and if we make progress on third, I think everyone will be happy again next year. A uh, bit of perspective needed, really. Do, do you think after the Ulm defeat early in the season, do you think you'd be in the game at half time in the playoff semi final? Yeah, as daft as that might sound to some, I think externally that's always the case, isn't it? Um, everyone makes opinions on very limited information. We had a couple of rough performances early in the year, and it did make it a little bit like, listen, I'm not, I'm human. Did it affect me a little bit at the beginning of the year, the, the amount of uh, ill-informed criticism? Um, a little bit. Did it hurt the lads? Massively. And again, the people at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff that go on away from the field that people don't, are not party to that information. And, and some of it, it really did affect lads and we probably stayed in that hole a bit longer than we should have um, for a number of reasons. But yeah, on the way back from Oldham, uh, when we lost that game, that was a low point and if someone would have said then you can get the top six, never mind the semi-final, I think every Halifax fan and every bloke on bus would have ripped their arm off. So we've done well, but yeah, I will say, although there was a lot of doubt, we felt that we had enough in, enough in us to move forward and I think things could have been a touch better as well if we'd have kept hold of a couple of low knees and, and you know all those little bits. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a good year. I think it's the first semi-final we've been to in what? Well, since they won it in 2012, was it? Mm. 2012 or 2010, I can't remember what year it was. Um, so first semi-final, uh, the only th problem I have on the whole is I don't feel like we've celebrated it enough, to be honest, as a club. And if you're not shouting for yourself, other people aren't really going to follow this. So I think that's there's some lessons um, in all areas, but we are definitely moving forward and, and progressing. So, you know, I take some time now to take stock of this one and relax a little bit and you know, not be rugby focused for you know twenty four seven, and, and then we'll get back into planning planning the next one. Quick word on your brother, his final final appearance, um, rolling back the years with a little cheeky chip, chip over the top. Uh, can you describe what a player he's been? Yeah, I think his game, the game tonight, sort of typified his career. I thought he tried really hard, um, creative. Um, dragging people along as well to be honest at 37 should he be the bloke who's dragging him around probably not um, but that's him that's how he's treated himself and, and how he's gone throughout his career he's earned, as I said before he's earned all of those games he bounced around early doors you know for opportunities when people didn't think he was good enough in fact I say he proved plenty of him wrong and, and uh, to be truth be told I think he could probably go around again couldn't he if he wanted to I think he's still in good enough shape but I think you know you just know you know when it's time and you know, he's ready, he's ready. Um, he's ready to transition to a different role within our team and he'll add a lot of value there as well. And lastly, how good were the Panthers away support behind the sticks there? Yeah, they were great and it's hard, isn't it, when you're getting you know, on the end of that. Um, but, you know, they sung the lads home and the lads really do appreciate it. Um, just hopefully we can grow that, grow that number next year and you know, have another positive season. But yeah, on the whole, I mean, the criticism and stuff I've spoke about there, I'm talking about probably 50 people out of them, you know, high number that, that follow us and, and have a lot of positive stuff to say about us so big thank you to them who, who were there for us all year and yeah we'll look forward to seeing everyone down the year again next year obviously we've got a number of blokes leaving so it's you know it's going to be a, a new challenge for us but I think we have we've set a bit of a standard for ourselves there as a club so 
yeah, plenty to build on. Cheers, Simon. Just a couple from me, if you don't mind, Simon. I was speaking to a couple of fans uh, before the game. Obviously, brought up the fact that there was some people calling even for your head after that Oldham game. Um, but how important was it to prove to yourself? Did you ever doubt yourself at that moment that things might not work out, or you know, what, what are you no, thinking? No, I think you quickly realise when you become coach, you can put a lot of effort in. It's the first thing you think about in the morning, last thing at night, more often than not. Um, and when you roll out on a Sunday. As soon as the lads cross the white stripe, the, that's when you get nervous. You're not nervous all week, it's more then because the control's gone um, and hoping the lads can transfer it. So, some lessons in there uh, all the way through. And funnily enough, you mentioned that bloke went over the bar at the end, he had a few beers in him. And he said, oh, I was, I wanted you out at the beginning of the year. Oh, all right, things have changed, haven't they? But then, if we lose a few at the start of next year, we're swinging around again. That sport, he doesn't make it right. Uh, you know, I talk about criticism and individuals copying it and stuff they've got going on you just don't know what they've got going on um, some of it's uncalled for but it's part of the job it doesn't make it right but it is what it is um, I don't you know, I'm not coaching or happy at the end of it all just to prove a few blokes wrong or whatever it might be uh, I'm I'm really proud of this group and happy with what we've achieved together and can I just ask you know after the, the Whitehaven game you said immediately when are you going to prepare for the next game and he said oh in a few hours I'm going to stay up all night so what, what are you going to do from now and when does the preparation start for next season it's already started obviously recruitment retention these are things the club need to get out and get through over the coming weeks um, we're about done there um, planning the pre-season you know, I already done a chunk of it already to be honest Um but there's still quite a bit to do and we've got a bit of downtime now in between and that, that game won't go just be swept under the carpet I'll go through it with the same fine tooth comb just probably take, a, take my time with it rather than staying up until stupid o'clock tonight and um, go and enjoy a beer with the staff who work really hard all year I think and just one word on, on the staff as you mentioned there I mean they've been brilliant for you haven't they all year yeah um, and it's you sort of babysitters that, that's their role making sure the lads have got everything they need to play well in it and, and I will say our lads are pretty good in the sense that they do appreciate it um, and we have got some changes coming there as well um, Some people, a couple of people have been part of furniture to be honest but again it's time for a change on that front and they've, they've done a really good job they've tested me like the blokes who are close to me Ricky, um, obviously Scott's been on the coaching side of it as well, it's that truth to power type of stuff um, you know, brave enough to tell me when maybe I ain't got it right or whatever it might be and really challenging me has made me better throughout the year so I've got to thank them for that and you know, that'll continue with you know with the incomings we've got on the staff front. Um, I think it's an exciting time to be involved in in rugby at the minute. I know a lot of people are sort of saying it's on its backside, the game and all that. I, I just think it's at a crossroads. We've been here many a time, and I've heard that term I just mentioned. I think we just we're. I think we're at the stage where it could get quite a lot better if some brave decisions are made, and it's quite an exciting time. I think for a club like Halifax, who are well, we've proven it this year one of the better championship teams. You know, there's, there's a bright future ahead.